Okay, <clears throat> let's learn about if statements and if else statements in Swift programming. This is called conditional programming. So check to see if a condition is met and if it's met, execute some code. Or else if it's not met, then do something else. <clears throat> so let's let's do something with video games because uh, that seems to be easier for me. I'm going to make um a variable and call it um I'm going to make it called call it is paid is paid user. So let's say you've got this video game and you want to check to see if someone is a paid user or not a paid user. Um, the way you do that is if you use the word if paid user and here's the condition, then do this. User has paid execute code to start game. So here's the syntax for an if statement. If the condition is met, execute the code in the curly braces. Now you could also check to see um, maybe they have a variable and their age is um, 13. So you can check to see if age is greater than 12, they can play. Okay, I'm moving these comments to print statements so we can see if they're getting called or not. Now let's run this again. Okay, now it says start game, they can play. Now, you'll see we have two if statements. They're consecutively called. It goes down the line here if it's a paid user and if their age is over 12. Well, we don't want it to start the game. Let's see, let's say their age is nine. Okay, I'm gonna run this code again. Beep boop. Uh-oh, it started the game. All right, so our logic here is a little messed up because we're checking to see if they're a paid user and then they're just starting the game here. Um, what we probably want to do is we want to check their age before we start the game. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to put it inside of here. Are you a paid user? Yeah? Well, is your age greater than 12? Okay, then they can play, start the game. You see, now it should not start the game. But maybe we want to do something if they're not a paid user, for instance, or if their age is less than 12. So let's say they are a paid user and their age is less than 12. Uh, I'm going to do an else statement here, or else uh, print go get your parental unit and ask. Okay, so now what should happen is it checks if it's a paid user, and if they're less than 12 years old, they got to go get their per parent. Right? Okay. Now, let's uh, let's change the age here just to make sure it's working right. Change it to 13. So they should be greater than 12. They can play. Okay. Now, if they're not a paid user, maybe we'll put an else statement here. Else uh, print. trial game restrictions may apply okay so now they can play a trial game but maybe they can't maybe we got to check this again so you see we get into this like logic here where you've got to keep if and if else and if else if if you start to get too much um going on if there's too many if else statements then you probably want to move to something like a switch statement or a um or guard statement for that matter. So there's another way we can handle this um, is to check if you're a paid user and something else. So you can you can string a couple conditional statements together. And to do that you do and and. So that's checking two conditions. So let's say they're a paid user and their age is less uh, greater than 12. If they're a paid user and their age is greater than 12, then great, they can play, right? Now, let's check to see uh, else if is a paid user and age is less than or equal to 12. Okay, so they're a paid user less than or equal to 12. Um, then they're going to need parent to start game, something like that.
and you can do another else if or just else so another else statement will just catch everything else that means they're not a paid user um, and doesn't check their age then then maybe you need a trial run or play trial game okay so this is an if statement this is an else if statement and this is an else just to catch every other variation every other permutation so as you can see sometimes these else if statements if statements get a little bit confusing and um, if things start to get really confusing you might you might refactor your code like take some of your code out and just check one thing in each function um, and then return whether it succeeds or not or you might uh, move to a switch statement so uh, go ahead and look up switch statement in my uh, my youtube channel i do go over switch statements with enum and that's the way to go um, if you have um, multiple permutations multiple variations so if you've got like north south east and west and you want to check to see which one is true you probably don't want to do if is north do this else if is south do this else you probably want to use a switch statement which just says here's the, here's the thing we're looking at if it's north do this if it's south do that if it's east do this so it switches between different options okay so hopefully this helps you learn a little bit more about if statements subscribe to my cracking code with dave channel and uh, until next time uh send me messages if you have questions or you'd like me to do some videos i'll catch you later